hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to implement security groups category in the user profile and in case you missed previous discussion about what is security groups and how to implement in odoo please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the playlist under the playlist you can see odoo development playlist available with different topics with real task cases and apart from this you can see python related tips and editor related tips if you need any support related to you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address and source code is also available in the github and we have some social media pages you can also follow to get the latest notification let's get to our main topic like how to implement security groups category so first thing is you need to understand what is security groups category so here i am going to in settings users and the user profile here you can see those are the groups right we already explained in our last session how to create this type of security groups here in the user level now we will try to create a group category so you can see the self category having the some self related groups then after accounting related having accounting related groups right for the administrator you can see administrator and the technical having a technical related categories right and the extra rights you can also see there are three types of groups available in extra rights and we all already created here you can see the student school profile but we didn't create a category so let's say if you are trying to create any category right so by default it goes to the other by default right so here let's create our own category the groups category right so how you will do so in a editor we are going to in our custom modules and i have already created groups that after access rights and the record rules under this security access data.xml file right and this is this is what we created a group so let me create one more group here like extra you can see one i'm just giving you a simple idea right so don't worry about this one like second like this then after i will try to upgrade the module but i will not upgrade from the front end side i am trying to upgrade in the pycharm only minus u and if you don't know how to configure this one please check editor level tips over there i already explained how to configure odoo with pycharm and i am trying to refresh the page now you can see here there are three groups already created the student profile then after student profile 1 and student profile 2 right but you can see here still it's under the category so let's say i want to change that category so for that i have to create my own category here so record then after like let's select the id and the model and then after like this and the id always should be unique so let's say my group custom category and here the model should be like ir modules dot category and here we have to provide the name and here like let's say we can create student profile so something like this and now i want to access here so for that this i want to access like i want to display these three groups under this category under this category so for that like i have to use here category oh, sorry category underscore id which is a many to one field so i will use here the reference like this and i will use the module name also 
so module name dot and xml id and same i will copy paste here in the three groups now i will try to upgrade the module and i'm trying to refresh the page now you can see student profile instead of the other category you can see here student profile is available right under under this category you can see three groups available same, same like technical technical having this right those group so same like we can also create here the name the category we can create it right all right so like this way you can create a group category like this way and i hope you clear about how to create a security group category in case you have still any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session